camera angle. Sorry. <clears throat> so I'm starting this video in my car to demonstrate a point. Um, as I said in my last video about rebranding, one of the things I want to try and do is um, reviews because I happen to do Yelp. Um, it's going to come off sounding like a brag, but for a number of years I've been part of what Yelp calls their elite. Uh, take that for whatever it's worth. But I have a very busy rainy day. <clears throat> so I went and got myself lunch today. And I went to a place, reasonable drive from my house. And one of the items I got, because I get a couple of things, because one is my lunch and one is my dinner and one is the thing that I snack on during the week because it's just fucking amazing. Um, the thing I got for my lunch is their, I want to say this right, shaved ribeye steak pocket, um, which has this phenomenal saw. I'm not looking at the menu. I'm not going to try and quote it directly. It has a phenomenal aioli sauce on it, greens, tomato, onion, shaved ribeye. It, it didn't make the trip home. I had to forcibly stop myself from eating so there would be some in my hand when I started recording. It's not even a 10 minute drive back to my house from the restaurant. <laughs> and it wouldn't have survived the trip if I didn't choose to stop eating. I don't use words like divine and heavenly very often. Um, and when I do, they're very selective. Because as I said, religion and faith are not the same thing. This is one of the best sandwiches I've ever consumed. Uh, I'm autistic, so picky is as picky does, and I'm about as picky as it's fucking possible to be. I love this thing. I change how much onion there is, depending on my mood. I change whether or not I get tomato, depending on my mood. Or I'll get it with tomato, so that there's like a hint of tomato. And then I'll share some of the tomato with the dogs when I get home. Only the tomato, not the onion. I don't give my dogs onion. But other than that, I change nothing about this. This, 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 excuse me a moment. Oh my God. <sighs> this is so good. I'm like, I'm not even hamming it up. This is so good. I'll show you the rest when I get inside and unpack the bag, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Came home to discover the puppy had gone psychotic while I was out and destroyed a number of things. <sighs> so, we'll start with this splendiferous bowl of awesome. This is their chicken shawarma bowl. You know, I feel like if we could all get together on agreeing what restaurant defines vegetarian or vegan, the world really could go that way. The name of this place is Nura, N-U-R-A. They're here in southern Maine, in Portland, which is reasonable distance from my house. I get extra of the garlic yogurt, which, I mean, if you really want my two cents about it, you could drink and, you know, you would be absolutely no worse for wear. 
but I just put back that ribeye pocket, so that's gonna wait. <clears throat> this is their in-house hummus. This is the pint. They sell it in all of their dishes, theoretically. Um, it is in this bowl. They sell it in the side cups like this. They also sell it in this, which is the pint. And they sell it in two of these to make a quart. I will eat this in under five days, just mindlessly snacking. It is not flavored. It is not like garlic or pine nut or zaytar or berberry or something like that. It is just straight chickpea hummus. And as far as I'm concerned, it's addictive. It is my personal drug. Now this contains two pieces of an equally addicting substance, their house-made pita. Now that pocket I just put back, it was stuffed in one of these bad boys. Now while you can get away with not having this when you get these, because that's going to fill you up, I come from an Italian heritage. Not having something edible with which to clean every last delicious possible morsel out of a bowl that looks that good to begin with is, in my opinion, criminal. Moreover, I have that and I have them. Now them is going to get dumped into there, so I need the bread to clean out those, if nothing else. I really think, this isn't joking, this isn't hyperbole. I can't believe you destroyed all those papers. You, how do you, sorry. <clears throat> I genuinely think if the whole group of us could get on the same page, better believe I'm putting this out of your reach. Dogs jumping at me wanting my food. We could all agree what restaurants collectively agreed, what restaurants made the best vegetarian food, the best vegan food, the food that all of us, every, every human being, all collectively said, holy Christ, this is what this kind of food could taste like. We would 90% agree to give up eating animals. I say that as an omnivore, okay? I have food sensitivities, I have food allergies, and I have food peculiarities because I am neurodivergent. And I am saying to you willfully, if we can all agree on what restaurants the food comes from, and truly invest in those restaurants producing this food at capacity for us, at the same level of quality, I think we could do it. I think we could do it. And I'm starting off by saying, Nura is one of those restaurants. I've said this in my Yelp review. I've said this out loud to every human being. Don't you go sniffing at what you already destroyed. That! Don't even start with me, boy. This is not the day. Oh, these dogs are testing my patience right now. mom voice activates my animals are my kids the same as my kids are my kids my animals are my kids and oh boy am I pissed off at my kids when they shred up shit for no fucking reason <sighs> the culprit who desperately wants to not be in trouble and just wants to share the chicken Nora is one of those restaurants. If we could all get on the same page about it, if we could really invest in places like Nora, I really think the vast majority of us would agree in embracing vegetarian and vegan eating. Far and away. I am an omnivore. 
You can't see it in this shot, but I am a fluffy, fluffy person. I like my food. I would agree to embrace vegetarian and vegan food. No cap. Find your local places that do their food well. That invest in the people, that invest in the materials, that invest in the sourcing. You better not start chewing up anything else. Don't even start with me. And I say that as someone who's also worked in the food industry several places for many years. It really does start at the top. The owners who invest in the place, who invest in the people, who invest in the sourcing, you're going to get better results all the way across the board. Nura in Portland is one of those places. If you're around here, go. Tell me I'm wrong. Boy, would you look at all this. That's after I've cleaned up half of it. I can't even with him today. <laughs>